Hey guys, if you've ever wondered how to create your own animated GIF, like the ones you see all over Tumblr, here's just one of the ways you can do it using Photoshop Elements. First, get you some pictures. Take a series of pictures with your camera, draw some pictures, or even get some screen captures off your computer. Now it's time to open Photoshop Elements. Choose Open from the File drop-down menu, then select the images you want to include in your animation. The images will show in the bin at the bottom of the screen. At this point, if necessary, edit each image by cropping out unwanted parts and so on. To resize any of the images, you can click on the Image menu, then Resize from the drop-down. Choose Image Size, then change the dimensions. After you've finished adjusting all the images the way you like them, go down to the bin and double-click on the image that you want to appear first in your animation. Now go to the Layers section and click on the Create New Layer icon. Now go to the second image that will appear in the animation and double click that down in the bin. Using the Rectangular Marquee tool, draw a box around the entire image. Press Ctrl plus C to copy that image. Now go back to the first image in the animation and double click it in the bin you'll see all of those empty layers we created, or just one like I have here. And choose that empty layer. Make sure that's highlighted in the Layers section. Press Ctrl plus V to paste that new image into that new layer. And now you'll see it on top of that first image. Continue this step with the rest of the images, placing each one into its own layer. And once you have them all in place in the order that they should appear when animated, they can be resized all at once. By clicking on the image menu, then resize from the drop down. And choose image size, then change the dimensions. Then all of those images and all of those layers will change at the same time. Some GIFs might not work properly in Tumblr, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Sometimes you may have too many layers or your images are just too large. There's a couple of ways to fix that. You can either resize the layers or reduce the number of layers. Now we need to save those layers as an animated GIF. Click the File menu, then click Save As from the drop-down. Choose the CompuServe GIF format. In the Save Options section, make sure Layers as Frames is checked. When you click Save, a new window will open with the options for the animated GIF. Make sure Animate is selected. In the Animation box, choose the Frame Delay. Also, if you want the animation to loop, make sure that is checked. Now near the bottom right of the screen, click on the globe with the question mark to preview the animation. You can also choose which browser you want to preview the animation in. When you've got the frame rate where you want it and everything looks OK, click OK at the top right of the page. Save your GIF. Now, go to your Tumblr dashboard. If your animated GIF is not too large, you should be able to post it to your Tumblr using the Photo Upload option. Select Photo from the dashboard, then choose File, and then find your GIF. And if everything's working properly, you can preview it and it should be animated straight away. Okay, that's about it for this tutorial. 
I hope you found it useful and can better understand how to use Photoshop elements to create an animated GIF. Please feel free to leave me a comment or ask me a question and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and have fun making those animated GIFs. <laughs>